morning. So it's Monday morning. International Women's Day today. Happy International Women's Day to all the women, to all the men that support all the women, to everybody who's supporting everybody. What we're doing this week, today and Wednesday, I'm quite excited because I've got two quite big business meetings doing uh, strategic planning for clients. It's one of my favorite things to do. In all of my offices, um, whether it's one we've got, like where we actually trade from when COVID's not on, or my office at my house. Hold on, I wanna try and like, Peg my phone up so I don't have to hold it, hold on. And in all of my offices, I've basically got whiteboard paint and painted whole walls. So in our office in Milton Keynes, every wall, apart from like one little sliver of wall, is painted with whiteboard paint. And in my office in my house, it's got brick. It's got open like raw brick on one side. So you can't really paint that. But the other side, all the way along the wall is all whiteboarded paint. Sales and marketing launches are like one of my nerd topics. Love it. We're gonna get into all the nitty gritty about you know, what product she's going to be selling, how much pricing, where we're going to be like advertising, all that sort of stuff. So I'm excited about that. Normally don't do that uh, two full days with people just brainstorming on their businesses, but it's going to be quite good. I'm very, very excited about it. So yeah, this week for me is all about marketing and content and copy. So I'm prepping for writing my book. I've got obviously some very long flights coming up in the next two weeks. Um, I think all in all, because we, you can't fly direct anywhere, I'm flying to Paris and then I'm flying from Paris to Cancun and then from Cancun to Zurich and then from Zurich back to London. I've got like 40 something hours of traveling to do. So that's 40 hours of book writing. I'm going to take advantage of that. And um, once I'm there, actually, we've got a pretty tight itinerary because we've got about eight different sites to see. Saturday come in. So this weekend come in. I've got my COVID test. I've got to drive to bloody Birmingham to have it done because there's no appointments on the right day in my town. So that's like the nearest test centre. So I thought we'd get that done. We're in the office right now and they've literally not moved. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> she won, she won! <laughs> yes, Kita. Kita won the stare off with the neighbour's cat. Look how excited she is. Three She's minutes of dog and cat of fully like staring each other out. It was very tense. Mascara done, ready for my day. Well, we're in the office. I'm joined by my cat on my desk, which is nice. What are you saying, Tinkerbell? <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Why do cats do that? Tinkerbell. She's just going to sleep right there. Look. I've got a little assistant for the day. That's actually on my laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah, your tail's kind of in my way. That thing's in her way as well. She wants it out of the way. Shall I move that for you? There we go. What about this pen? That's going to be in the way too. What do you think? Are you comfortable now? <laughs> They're my AirPods. Thief. Look at her. Literally, how am I supposed to work I under these conditions? <laughs> Why are you sleeping on a calculator? Your foot is actually on my keyboard. What? What? How am I supposed to work? <laughs> She's a wally. We are launching a new online course at the end of the month. And as soon as I'm going to be away for the last two weeks of the month, I need to put my finger out. So I'm in Canva today designing ebooks. Doing a little singing on the, uh, on the little vlog. Yep. History. Hey, looks good today, Deeks. Oh, sorry. She is so hungry. So, I just asked her where my wallet was and she shouted at me and said, I've got money, just get in the car. Right, I'm wearing my silver. Emma and I are going for guilt-free footlongs. Emma's a good friend. Like everyone needs a friend in their life who you can go to Subway and you can order a footlong without being judged. She's that friend. <laughs> also the friend that trips you up when all you're trying to do is create a video for YouTube. So I think, hold on. I don't need my shades on, I'm in the house. I've had deliveries. I think this might be Part of my order for my uh, new technology. I think it is. I think this is a uh, battery charger thing. Yes, this is a battery charging device for whatever is in here. The camera, I suppose. <laughs> Adapters. This is not quite. This is so that I've got power in Mexico. The camera's not arrived yet. The trouble with a last minute six days notice for a business trip overseas somewhere hot is that after lockdown also where 
I've probably been eating way too many calories and not really training enough, is that I can't go shopping to buy any new clothes. So I'm having to basically turn my life upside down, trying to find clothes in my distant past wardrobe that I can wear. Today I'm spending the day um, with a client in the office, which is really exciting. And it's one of those days that it's interesting because I'm having to do it socially distanced, which is different for me. I've had to set the office up in a way that is um, compliant. So we've had, to, I've had to learn all of that. But it's one of these days that can't really be done remotely. We literally like strip apart the business and piece it all back together. Still waiting for my deliveries. I'll update you when they arrive. I'm very excited for my camera and stuff to be coming. Um, yay. We've had deliveries. One, two, could be cameras, could be boots. We don't know. So obviously I'm gonna try and unbox this. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's my microphones. It's not the camera yet. Hold on, what else is in here? It's very light. memory cards still no camera though my new microphone shotgun mic not really sure what this does Ooh, it's got fancy little boxes this works on ipads and phones that's good already tells me i'm happy look it's very serious isn't it i have no idea what to do with this this thing here is supposed to connect on here but i'm not really sure what to do now Mm. It looks like those hats that the people at the palace wear. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> it actually looks a bit like a duster. I need training in this piece of equipment. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But I'm excited I now have a microphone. We're in a bungalow actually in Buckinghamshire. Um, this is a property that we're going to be taking on to manage, just a standard let. A couple of weeks ago we came and did the tour. Now we've got to a point where the landlord's done all the decorating. New carpets, new curtain rails. They've done all the, um, like they've laid all the carpet in this room, which wasn't there before. Bathroom's all been cleaned and is lovely. And then they've emptied all the rooms out. Here. And this is a massive room. So before this had a really swirly carpet in it. Now it's all lovely. So now today we're getting the photographs ready to go onto the adverts to get it um, let out. So we've agreed the contract with this particular landlord. Um, we're taking it on on a like a management basis. It's going to be advertised from tomorrow, pretty much, um, and then we'll get a tenant in, get it managed, get it let for this particular landlord. So we found this bottle of whatever oh. this is, <laughs> and she was mortified that I opened it to see where it was because it's got QC on the top. Isn't that isn't QC like port? I've put it down now, mate. It's just a bottle or something. And I offered her fifty quid to take a swig, and she doesn't want to do that. But basically, it's got chip fat in it. What are we doing then? <laughs> what is it called? We're making these. Cinnamon swirls. Hold on, I want to watch. What are you doing? What is happening? Oh, oh. Look at this. So it's like preloaded. Mm -hmm. Oh, fancy. Did you put the oven on? No, I haven't put the oven on. How many, like, numbers to grease? We've got a baby tray. Yeah, man. And some grease proof. It's clever, isn't it? Pre-made cakes. So tonight I successfully managed to be in two places at once. <laughs> So I was on Clubhouse in a Clubhouse room uh, with like a really cool panel talking about authentic sales, uh, digital sales. And I was also on um, a Facebook live community um, live, like coordinating that quite hard because they actually finished at like the exact same moment. So I had to, <laughs> I had to really try and manage that. Um, I am done for the day. What time is it? It's like 20 past nine. And I'm obviously out of the country next week so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done thursday friday to get me ready for that um but i've just literally had a little look at my tiktok and i wanted to do this on a vlog because i mentioned it in my previous vlog and we're <laughs> i've got one video that's on like three hundred and seventy thousand views <laughs> i've literally got no idea how this has happened um and i've got like two thousand followers all of a sudden or over two thousand followers all of a sudden tiktok's gone mental 
I've legitimately, legitimately, I've legitimately laid in bed for the last 40 minutes negotiating with my own brain that I don't need to run today. It's too cold, it's too windy. I do need to run today, I do. So the treadmill is loading. Bleh. Thursday morning, I'm sweaty. It's coffee clock, for goodness. One to one's most of today. I start late today, so Emma and I have got a client that we alternate because she's working on her fitness and her business at the same time, so we kind of hybrid work with this particular client. So it means this morning, I start much later today than I do on my alternate weeks. My plan for today is to order flowers for Mother's Day. I've ordered all her presents and stuff. Happy Mother's Day to those of you that are mothers. I've got some work to be doing on my publicity stuff. We've taken on a, a lady called Wendy who is gonna be working on a lot of our publicity from a speaking perspective. I talk a lot about um, multiple streams of income. I talk a lot about creating a business from nothing, basically coming back from a place of debt. And a lot of the speaking appearances that I've done prior to this have always been in the UK. I really wanna do some overseas work. Wendy's actually based in Missouri. It does a lot of stuff with event organizers over there in the US. We're working on some options for me to do some speaking and some basically some media promo and stuff. And to talk a lot about how anyone really can create a business. I'm excited to work on that this morning. I am going to get that done today. I've been trying to get it done for like weeks. But first, I need coffee in my life. So yeah, I'll catch you later. My cleaner comes on a Thursday. Is there anything better than coming in from the office or work to like an immaculately clean house? I actually don't think there's anything better in the world. I love my cleaner. It's lunchtime. Best flavor ever. <laughs> Do you ever have one of those days where you just can't concentrate and you want to eat? I'm having one of those days today. I've got so much to do that I have been staring at the same, the same this about three hours and I just need to get it done and I can't concentrate. What do you do in this situation? Ow, I just banged my arm now as well. We've had another little delivery. Let's see what it is. If you can get in it. What's that on my, oh, it's a button. <laughs> Why a flop on my arm? Hardest box ever to get into. I can send an echo, but I just bought an echo. I just bought an echo this week. That's random. I've been sent an echo by the mortgage desk, but there's no note. Most random thing ever. I love when people send me things, right? But <laughs> I'm very grateful. I did literally just order an Alexa last week or an echo last week. I don't know why I have this. I need to look into this. <laughs> I shall get back to you. This happy little pee. Breakfast. It's breakfast time. She's having a uh, casserole today. Stay. Go on then. <laughs> Friday morning and it's like half past eight or something. I literally just got up. Entrepreneur life, right? I don't I don't go up with an alarm. I'm one of these very lucky people in my life who eh, it's not luck, is it actually? I went my ass off so that I don't have to wake up to an alarm every day. And I just happened to wake up late today so yeah um i don't have any meetings till 10. so i'm making coffee hanging out with the dog for half an hour i've had a good chat with my mum this morning i've got like an accountability meeting that i'm part of so i'm part of like a little mini mentorship group where um three of us kind of hold each other accountable for getting shit done every week so on a friday we have a check-in um and then i've got a meeting with my guys that manage my vlog for me. So to talk about what else we, we need to do. Now all my new equipment's arrived. And then this afternoon, I've got a 12 till three with a client doing whiteboard wizardry. And then I'm recording a podcast this afternoon, which I only confirmed this morning, but um, I'm recording a podcast for uh, a cup of positivity podcast with Martha Lucia, which we're recording this afternoon. So that'll be fun. It's Friday as well, man. I was going to sing the uh, dancing song, the Friday song, but I, I'm not a very good singer, so I'm just not going to do that. I'm also waiting for loads of deliveries today because obviously nothing's open. So I've had to order everything online, uh, like things like sun cream and stuff. So 
I basically frazzle like a bit of bacon in the sun. And whilst obviously I'm gonna be there working on like four of the days that I'm there, there will be a couple of days where I'll be able to probably just hang out in the sun and get some work done and just chill a bit. So yeah, that's my day. I don't know why that was so squeaky. <laughs> Squeak. I'm 100% on the go slow today. It's like nine o'clock and I've still not even finished my first coffee, which is super rare. I've been distracted this morning by my trading app. <laughs> so I have uh, met a trade of five and I have funds in there and I've been distracted by it this morning. So yeah, I'm late for everything again. I just talk for a little second about the size of this lemon. Just for... <laughs> this one's really huge, look at this. They're actually as big as my head, two of lemons. <laughs> I fancied lemon um, and hot water yesterday. I wanted like a hot drink, like refreshing, but I didn't want tea or coffee. Um, and I didn't have any lemons. So I've just been and bought lemons from the shop over the road in the village. Literally the biggest lemons ever. Biggest lemons I've ever seen. What are you doing, little one? Huh? Off to work. So I'm in the office today with Claire. There she is. So Claire's a, a client of mine and we've been doing um, whiteboarding wizardry. <laughs> we've been doing, what have we done? Three year business plan. Three year, yeah. Three year business plan to launch and scale a multi-million pound property business. What's been your biggest takeaway from today? Mindset that I can achieve it and it does, it's not gonna take me loads and loads and loads to do. <laughs> Ah, hello. There we are. That's Thank you very much. You. Logging on to record a podcast. This podcast is called A Cup of Positivity with Martha Lucia. If you do not watch or listen to this, YouTube or Instagram, Spotify and all sorts, um, she's doing a series on inspiring women and has invited me on. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just trying to find a link because I can't find it. On my podcast with Martha, say hello. Hello. A cup of positivity, guys. A cup please of positivity. Also be subscribed to. Please subscribe to Martha Lucia, A Cup of Positivity. On YouTube, right? Yes, and Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Food shopping on a Friday evening may have been an error. But I've got dinner, so that's a win. Home from Tesco's. Have a little carbonara feast for my tea. I'm particularly excited about this. Red Leicester cheese and onion garlic bread. I'm gonna stink, it's gonna be great. Fire's on, dog's chilled. I'm in the car this morning, Saturday morning. I'm off to Birmingham to the NEC, which is for my COVID test. So because I fly on Tuesday, I have to go today, get COVID test, check that I am all good to fly. The site in Northamptonshire had no appointments today. I had to be today because of the time that I'm flying on Tuesday. You have to allow enough time for your test results to come back. So I'm jumping in the car and going on a bit of a road trip this morning by myself. I'm a happy girl. I've arrived for my COVID test. They're doing stuff. COVID tests are gross. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums. So I'm off to do a doorstep drop to my mother. Got some uh, jewellery and flowers and stuff. So I'm on my way. Should totally be packing and drinking tea instead. So in an attempt <laughs> to get rid of my lockdown roots, which I'm sure you can see, I purchased this magic retouch. Light blonde. It says your dark roots back to blonde. Root concealer spray lasts until shampooed. This is actually on my hair right now. No, I am, um, this is, I wish to be more blonde than this has created. What a disappointment. It's bedtime. I'm pretty much packed. My cat's broken into my bedroom. You're not meant to be here, little shit bag. So I need to like get kind of organized in the morning. I want to try and sneak out to Marks and Spencers and take back some jeans that I bought. Then I can spend that money on something else fun for Marks and Spencers. But yeah, 
this week's been amazing. Uh, I've done lots, lots of very cool stuff this week. It's been mainly, um, as I said at the beginning of the week, I've spent a lot of time with clients this week working on businesses and it's actually something that gets me really energised about stuff. This week coming is going to be a very different week for me. I'll try and get as much of it on vlog as I can. I'm going to see overseas property and combining travel, which is one of my loves, with property which is another one of my loves and ultimately investment which is another one of my loves i'm really excited about this trip it's going to be amazing i also have never been to mexico so i'm excited about that there is obviously some challenges getting there with the flights making sure i stay safe and all that sort of stuff i got my fit to fly certificate back about an hour ago so i'm covid free and i'll be meeting my client there a couple of days after that i think it's wednesday so yeah happy sunday happy mother's day to everyone i'm off to sleep Good night.